metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code, pink code, Science can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Science can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code. give you thanks. You are a hero to our tiny planet. However, your own planet is an enemy. When the sun rises, our armies will descend upon your Earth and destroy it. No! Wait! You can't do this! They were just a few bad spacemen! You can't punish all of us for them! Your comments are noted, hero. We'll think about it. The Plutonians greet their hero with respect. Uh, hey there. We have reached a compromise regarding your planet. The Earthlings must pass our intelligence test to prove their right to not be destroyed. Uploading now. We expect our answer within one week's time. We will return then for the judgment. I don't... Good luck. Oh! <laughs> And we only have a week. If we all work together on it, we might just be able to solve it. And then we can save the planet. So what is this test exactly? Well, I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm close. I have a few ideas. Well, some very small ideas, that is. Is this test made for ants? Incredible! The Plutonian language is like them. It's so small. I'll need a more powerful microscope. Your average optical microscope has two main portions, the object lens and the eyepiece. The lens gathers visible light that bounces off an object, magnifies the image, and lets us see it through the eyepiece. Microscopes are super cool and can let us see a whole world of things that are too small to see with the naked eye. They can enlarge things up to 2,000 times. I just can't figure this out. It's too small for me to see. You have a weird sense of humor, friend, but April Fool's is a long way off. But wait a second. None of you guys believe me? About the aliens? <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't a weird dream? I'm hoping this is all a weird dream and that my friends didn't wake me up for this. So these alien guys, they wanted us to prove our, whatchamacallit, smartness, right? But I bet we can beat these aliens, whatever you call them. Plutonians. Oh, gazoontite. No, this isn't fun. This is of utmost importance to our planet's future. Don't you all see what I mean? Daco, we all enjoy a good prank, but next time let us sleep. Whatever's written on the test is too small to see with our current technology. I have to be calm and rational about this. 
<laughs> no need to be discouraged. If we work together, we can get this. I might need sleep. Go back to the microscope. Why do you think it doesn't go as small as you want it to? Light travels in waves. All these light waves have a wavelength or a distance between the waves. Visible light has a minimum wavelength of 380 nanometers. Visible light is how we're able to see objects. The waves bounce off and go back to our eyes, but the object has to be bigger than the size of the wavelength. If it's not, the waves simply pass over it, and that's why we can't see things that are super small. If you want to see smaller wavelengths, why don't you try radiation? We still couldn't see it. Our eyeballs just aren't capable. Easy, then just project the findings onto a screen. Zoom in on it. You'll be able to see it. Hmm, you are a genius. I mean, um, I'm a genius. <laughs> uh. Listen up, everyone. I've invented something that proves Earthlings have intelligence once and for all. The electron microscope. Oh. The electron beam comes from a tiny point of super hot tungsten. The beam, just like regular light in an optical microscope, gets focused by a special electromagnetic lens. Then, the electrons fly around through the sample at super fast speeds, because they're electrons, of course, and create an image. This image is shown on a screen and enlarged several thousand times. Whoa, look at all those crazy things. Thanks to electron microscopes, we're able to see all kinds of things way smaller than with an optical microscope. Thanks, Electrons! With this, I can finally see how those Plutonians plan to test our intelligence! He's still talking about the aliens? Daco needs a serious nap. I missed the memo. What are we all doing here? I don't understand. I made the image larger, but there isn't any message like I thought there would be. Any smaller and we're talking nanoparticles. I don't have anything that can do that. I failed our whole planet. Daco, relax. Why do you worry so much? When's the last time you slept? I can sleep when the planet's safe. There's only three days left until the Plutonians said they destroy us. I'm a dummy. <laughs> You're hardly a dummy. A dummy wouldn't have been able to create the technology you have in such a short time. And I know some dummies. If the Earth is going to be destroyed, who says you have to save it? All right, drink this. You need to relax, Daco. I had an uncle who talked to aliens. We called this his crazy juice. <laughs> It'll put him right to sleep, like a baby. No more aliens, for sure. It seems you are late, hero. able to see something, we should be able to touch it, but on a molecular level. If we made something we could control with our hooves or flippers, we could see way more on the tiny scale than we ever could before. I'm fairly clever if I do say so. Even though electron microscopes are amazing, there's still some things they can't see. That's right, 
too small even for electron microscopes. When that happens, we need the use of nano-objects to help us out. Nano-objects can help us by touching the tiny thing we're looking at. It's so sensitive we use something smaller than the point of a needle, and scientists are able to move it along the surface of the object. It reacts to the nanoparticles in a way that lets us see the surface. The needle uses a laser to project the image, and voila! Now we can see extra tiny nanoparticles. And that's how we'll read the message with nanoparticles! Hero, what is your answer on behalf of Earth? It is four. Is is that your final answer? Yes, it is. The Earthlings are correct. So, heard from any aliens lately? <laughs> <laughs> That's all good now. We're safe. I answered them. <laughs> <laughs> you are weird. Still not April Fool's. <laughs> huh? 